You probably clicked on this video because you want to learn a new language but have no idea where to start or how. Well, you've come to the right place. But why would you trust me? Why would I know something about languages? Well, here is my short story. My brother was born in England and my dad wanted us to speak English, so English basically became my father language. But both of my parents are from Hungary, so my mom speaks to us in Hungarian. But I was born in France and I attended a French school, so I basically speak fluent French. Now we live in Germany. Long story short, I've lived in a lot of countries and I speak four languages fluently. Now that you all know that, we can actually get started. Okay, let's get into how to actually learn a new language. So I am sure you've seen a lot of YouTube videos on how is the fastest or what is the fastest way you learn a new language. Do this, do that, and you're gonna know the language in 24 hours. That is not possible. You can't learn a language in 24 hours fluently. Your brain just needs that time to process this new language. Learning a new language feels like you're a baby and you have to start everything from you. You know nothing. And when I moved to Germany, that's how I felt. I felt like a baby that didn't know anything and that had to relearn everything that they learned because everything here was new and different. And what I knew helped nothing with this new world. Be patient with yourself because learning a new language is very, very difficult. And I think a lot of people underestimate it. The fastest way to learn a new language, in my opinion and in my experience, is to just move to the country where you want to learn. If you obviously don't have that possibility that you can move to a new country, then I would firstly suggest getting a textbook for children, for children especially, because that is the easiest way. They have drawings in it, pictures, and it just helps it stick. And get a textbook in the language that you want to learn and just start learning, start doing the exercises, but make sure you also have a sheet of the correct answers that you know that you're doing it right and that you're not doing something completely crazy. There's also learning apps such as Duolingo and a bunch of other ones here listed on the screen. So you can use those, but it's not really going to help you learn a language. You're just going to extend your vocabulary and it's going to help you know words such as good morning, good night. But when you hear it around you, you're not going to be able to speak it. So it helps in the beginning. I would definitely suggest to do that. But in the long term, that is not how you learn this language fluently. Watch movies, watch YouTube, watch everything that you're watching on your phone and the language that you want to learn. For example, you want to learn French, then you're going to watch everything in French. You're going to watch Netflix in French, YouTube from French YouTubers. Trust me, it helps so much because you actually hear what the language is like when it's spoken. You don't just hear a bunch of words. Listening is such a big part of learning. When there's a baby, for example, and you know, babies just learn the language that you speak around them. And it's because they listen. For the first two years of their life, they aren't able to speak, but they listen. And because they listen, they learn the language. And I would also recommend watching a movie or a show that you've already watched. So for example, you've seen your favorite movie in your native language, and then rewatch that movie, but in a language that you're trying to learn because then you're going to understand the background of the story and that definitely really helps or you can put subtitles underneath but i wouldn't really recommend that because when you put subtitles then the whole time your attention is focused on the english part or the subtitles whatever the language maybe of that and not the actual listening of it okay the next one is practice every single day i've never heard this be talked about but it's a huge tip that really helped me it's just ask around in your family or in your friend group or your parents friends if somebody speaks this language that you're trying to learn, and if yes, get in touch with them. And trust me, in most cases, people do speak languages that you're trying to learn. I mean, it obviously depends on the language, but in most cases, trust me, you're gonna be surprised that somebody, there's gonna be definitely somebody that speaks the language that you're trying to learn. Using that language is also such a big part. So the two most important thing in learning a language is, is listening and using that language. So even if you make so many mistakes by forcing yourself to speak, it's actually going to really help because when I moved to Germany, I was forced to speak German and at first it was horrible, but because I was forced and I had to do it every day, it helped me. And one day it was like a switch. I speak German, which is crazy. Maybe visit that country where they speak the language that you're trying to learn and go there for two weeks and force yourself to speak this language. And trust me, people are going to be so nice about it because it's such a huge thing that you're trying to learn this language. The next thing is record yourself while speaking this language. If you truly find nobody that you can speak this language with, then just record yourself and talk about your day. And do this a couple of times every week 
and then look back at the improvement that you're making and honestly good luck maybe have a little vocabulary book that has the basics such as good morning good night how you say this word how you say that word it, it helps for very basic communication but if you only have this vocabulary book and you only have what you learn on duolingo it's not enough because you don't actually hear what it's like when this language is actually used in normal communication in normal day-to-day -day life it's very different and especially something that i was really surprised about when learning a new language is how kids speak to each other how teens speak to each other how adults speak to each other and how like older people speak to each other the language changes because obviously by teens there are these slang words and by older people they don't use these slang words they speak in a very modern or I don't even know how to put it, just in a very different way, orderly way. So definitely keep that in mind. But you got this. Honestly, learning a new language is so fun and so cool, but it definitely takes discipline. So just have a lot of discipline. You got this. And just remember learning a language, it takes a lot longer than you think. For me, it took one and a half years to learn a language fluently, even though I was in the country. But just keep on practicing, you got this, and I really hope you learned something from this video. Thank you for tuning in. Bye!